Mathematics is one of the, probably the only subject in the high school or a school curriculum where people are proud and as adults to admit their weakness. Uh, the, it seems as though it's a badge of honor to admit that you were lousy in mathematics in school. No other subject would anyone ever do the same for. Uh, why is that the case? One of the reasons is that we don't do enough to make mathematics an exciting and interesting subject, especially at the elementary school grade levels, where teachers themselves are often those adults who don't like mathematics. And if you don't like it, you do minimal amount and you don't do it with the kind of enthusiasm that would otherwise be the case when you uh, teach a subject that you very much like. There are lots of things you can do in mathematics to enrich the instruction, to make it come alive, and to uh, give some sense to it. There are lots of numer simple numerical things. If teachers allow themselves to become enriched in some of the things beyond the curriculum, they can do it. For example, there's a famous Capricar number. It's a number uh, 6174. Now, what does that mean? Uh, if you take a four-digit number, any four-digit number you want, and then take those digits and arrange them to make the largest number, and then arrange it, those same digits to make the smallest number you can make. Obviously, if there's a zero in that number, it comes in the first place. Subtract those two numbers, and once again, repeat the process. Take the largest number, and then make the smallest number and subtract and continue that process, you will eventually, no matter what number you start with, end up with the number 6174. And when you have that number and you continue that process just one step, make from that number 6174 the largest number and the smallest number, you will again, and subtract, you will again get 6174, so you get into a loop. And no matter where you start, you will always get to that loop. Now that's a very, very exciting and interesting phenomenon, and people are amazed by the fact that that happens. But when teachers become aware of such things, it makes the subject come alive. It also gives kids a, 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 a fun practice for doing subtraction, say, at the lower grade levels. In geometry, uh, we teach geometry in the United States as a separate course, a course that deals with proofs and the kids don't get a sense of what it is they're actually proving, understanding the beautiful relationships that exist in geometry. I can give you just one example, if you like, of a relationship that's very, very simple to understand and that's truly amazing and can be shown very nicely on any of these dynamic geometry computer programs. And I'll just take a piece of paper and show it to you now. It's called Simpson's Theorem and uh, it talks about a triangle inscribed in a circle, and you choose any point on the circle, we'll call it P, and from that point we will draw perpendiculars to the three sides of the triangle. Of course, one of them will be outside the triangle. And when you do that, regardless of which triangle you begin with, whatever shape triangle you have, you will always find that the three feet of the perpendiculars, the points at which the perpendiculars touch the sides, will always be collinear. When you draw the, uh, when, when you look at the three points at which the um, perpendiculars hit the three sides of the triangle, those three points will always lie on the same straight line. That's something that can be very nicely proved with the techniques that the kids learn in high school geometry. And when a kid sees a phenomenon like this, they have exactly the question you ask is, why does that happen? And that then shows why we do proofs in geometry, because we can prove the truth of that statement. You need to know more than what's in the textbook. And that's one of the reasons why uh, I took to uh, writing some books for the general audience to turn them on to mathematics. And it appears that many adults who begin to read these books have emailed me and told me, gee, I never realized mathematics was so interesting, so much fun. In other words, what they're saying is they missed that in school.